Good morning children. Did you complete yesterday's work? Okay. Today let us learn how to find out the circumference of a circle. Now, if this is a circle and this is the center of the circle, if I draw a line, if I draw a line from the center of the circle touching the circle, this is called as the radius. What is it called? It is the radius. If I draw a line touching the center of the circle and touching the two sides of the circle, the length here, this is called as diameter. What is it called? Diameter. This diameter is nothing but this is radius and this is also radius. So R and R. So this is 2R. R plus R is 2R. So diameter is equal to 2R. Understood this? For a square and rectangle, when we measure the boundaries, the length around the shapes, that is called as the perimeter. What is it called? Perimeter. Whereas when it comes to a circle, when you take a thread and measure the boundary or the border of the circle, that is called as the circumference. What is it called? Circumference. Okay. Yeah. So now what we are going to learn is finding out the circumference of a circle. The formula is 2 pi r. What is the formula? 2 pi r. R is the radius. So this is pi is equal to 22 by 7 or 3.14. According to the question you have to use this. If you have a value as a multiple of 7 then we will use this 22 by 7. Otherwise we are going to use 3.14 and solve the question. Now if if you are given radius, this is the formula that you are going to use, 2 pi r. If diameter is given, 2 r is diameter. So the formula is pi d. What is the formula? Pi d. 2 pi r, when radius is given, pi d, when diameter is given. Understood this? So whatever we have discussed, copy in your class for books. Write today's date, write the chapter number, copy the chapter's name. Copy the definition. The circumference of a circle is represented by the letter C. By the letter C. So here C is equal to 2 pi r. Pi is 22 by 7 or 3.14. C is equal to pi d. This is the other formula where d is the diameter. Understood this? Now let us begin with exercise 5 first problem. Find the circumference of a circle whose radius is 4.2 centimeters. This is given in the question. The first bit is for homework. Second bit and third bit we are doing now. So here, radius R is given as 4.2 centimeters. C, that is circumference of the circle is equal to 2 pi R. Why are we using this formula? Because radius is given in the question. 2 pi is 22 by 7 into r is 4.2. 4.2. Let's cancel. 7 ones are point is there. So 0 point. 42 when will you get in 7 table? 7 six are 42. So this is equal to 22 into 2. 2 to the 4, 2 to the 4, 44 into 0 0.6. So 6 fours are 24 to carry. 6 fours are 24, 25, 26. And here, after one digit you have a point. So from last check, after one digit keep a point. So the circumference of the circle is equal to 26.4 centimeters. Understood this? Okay, let us do the third bit. Here the radius is given as 15.4 centimeters. And the formula that we are going to use is circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r. So this is 2 into 
22 by 7 into 15.4. 15.4. Now let's cancel. 7 ones are 7 twos are 14. One is the remainder. So this is point 14. It will come 7. 2 times. 2 times 7 is 14. So 2.2 2 you got. Now again multiply. 2 into 22 is 44 into 2.2. 2. So let us multiply in the rough. 4 to the 8, 4 to the 8, 2 for the 8, 2 for the 8. So this is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16 and this is 8 plus 1 is 9. So after one digit keep a point. So this is equal to 96.8 centimeters. 96.8 centimeters. Understood this? Hope in your class for books, children. So let us do the second problem. Find the circumference of circle whose diameter is and they have given the diameters. So the first bit is 17.5 centimeters. C is equal to diameter is given. We have to use the other formula which is pi d. So this is equal to 22 by 7 into 17.5. Let's cancel. 7 1s are 7. 7 2s are 14. 15, 16, 17. 3 is the remainder. So point is there. So we kept a point. 35. 7 table. When will you get 35? 7 5s are 35. So now let's multiply. 22 into 2.5. We should do 5 2s are 10. 5 2s are 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. 2 2 are 4. 2 2 are 4. Now let's add. This is 0. 4 plus 1 is 5. 4 plus 1 is 5. And after 1 digit you have a point. So from the last count 1 digit and keep a point. So this is 55 centimeters. The circumference of the circle is equal to 55 centimeters. Now let's do the second bit. 5.6 centimeters is given. So let's use circumference of a circle is equal to pi d. Pi is 22 by 7 into 5.6. 7 1s are 7. 5 will not come in 7 table. So let's keep a 0. 0 0.56 it is. So 7 6 are 7 7s are 49. 7 8 are 56. So this is 0 0.8. So 22 into 0 0.8. 8 twos are 16. 8 twos are 16. 16 plus 1 is 17. So after 1 you have to keep a point. So this is 17.6 centimeters. You got the circumference of the circle as 17.6 centimeters. Understood this? Copy in your class workbooks children. Second problem, third bit is for homework. Let us do the third question. Taking pi is equal to 3.14, find the circumference of the circle whose radius is 8 centimeters. So here radius is given. So which formula we have to use? Circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r formula we are going to use. 2 into pi value they ask you to take 3.14. Radius is 8. So here 2 8s are 16. 16 into 3.14 we have to do. Let's multiply in the rough column. 6 4s are 24. 6 1s are 6 7 8. 6 3s are 18. One table we are going to multiply. Now 4. 8 plus 4 is 12. 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10, 3 plus 1 is 4, 5. Now point where should we keep after 2 digits you have a point. So after 2 digits you will get the point. So this is equal to 50.24 centimeters. This is the circumference of the circle. Understood this? Okay. B bit is for homework. Now let us do the C bit. Here C bit is given as 20 centimeters. Let us use a formula. C is equal to 2 pi r. So 2 into pi is 3.14. R is 20. 
Two two is a four. Four and this is zero. Into three point one four. Here because zero is there, it is easy for us to multiply. Direct multiplication with four. Four four is a sixteen. Four one is a four five. Four three is a four three is a twelve. Here one zero is there, so keep a zero to the last. Now you should keep the point. After two digits, there is a point. So after two digits, count two digits and keep a point. So it is one twenty five point six zero centimeters is the circumference of this circle. Understood this? Copy in your class workbooks, children. Okay, let us do the fourth problem. If the circumference of the circle is two four sixty four centimeters, find its radius. Take pi is equal to twenty two by seven. In the question itself, they have given how to take the value of pi. So let us use circumference of a circle is equal to two pi r. Why are we using r? Because they have given radius here. So we are going to use. Radius they asked you to find out, so this formula we are going to use. What is the circumference of the circle? It is given as two sixty four centimeters. This is equal to two into pi is twenty two by seven into r. You don't know what is r, so now keep this r to one side and remaining terms you have to transpose to the other side. Now r is equal to two sixty four. Division when it goes to the other side it becomes multiplication into seven whole divided by multiplication when it goes to the other side it becomes division so this is two into twenty two okay now let's cancel two elevens are two ones are two two threes are six two twos are four so it's one thirty two now again eleven table eleven ones are eleven. Eleven ones are eleven. Twelve, thirteen. So two is the remainder. Twenty-two is there. So it is twelve times. It is twelve times. So here you have. Again, I'm writing what is left. Twelve into seven divided by two is left. Now cancel. Two ones are two six are twelve. Two six are twelve. Now. Six seven za six seven za forty two. So you got the radius r as forty two centimeters. Forty two centimeters. Understood this? Okay. Now let us do the fifth problem. If the circumference of a circle is thirty three centimeters, find its diameter. Diameter they are asking you to find out. So let us use the formula. C is equal to pi d. C is equal to pi d. So here, C is given as thirty three. Pi is twenty two by seven. In D A, we have to find out. So now, let us transpose the terms. D is equal to thirty three into seven divided by twenty two. This is eleven two z and this is eleven three z. Okay, now let's cancel. Two ones are two, three is a six. So one is the remainder. Keep a point. Now you have ten. Two five is a ten. So you are left with three into three point five. Three into three point five. Three five is a fifteen. Three three is a nine. Ten. So after Point you have one digit, so after point here also in the result you should have one digit. So it is ten point five centimeters is the diameter. Understood this? Copy in your class workbooks, children. Let us do the sixth problem. How many times will a wheel of radius thirty five centimeters be rotated to travel six hundred and sixty centimeters? This is the question given. So for this, let us first find out the circumference of the wheel because radius is given. We are going to use the formula c is equal to two pi r. So two into twenty two by seven into thirty five. Let's cancel. Seven ones are seven. Seven five is a thirty five. 
So 5 twos are 10. 10 into 22. This is nothing but 220 centimeters is the circumference of the circle. Now, how many times will a wheel rotate? So here, let us write number of times wheel is rotated. Wheel is rotated. This is equal to, here you know that one time if the wheel is rotated, it is covering a distance of 220 centimeters. You don't know how many times you have to do, but you know that the distance what is travelled is 660 centimeters. Okay? Here, rotation. This is number of rotations and this is the distance travelled. So when you have things like this, you know that you have to cross multiply. What you should do? Cross multiply. So this is 660 into 1 is nothing but 660 divided by 220. 220. Let's cancel. 0 and 0 gets cancelled. 11 twos are 22. 11 3 6 11 6 66. Now 2 table. 2 ones are 2. 3 is 6. So what is the answer? 3. So how many times is the wheel rotated? The wheel is rotated. The wheel is rotated. 3 times. Understood this? Copy in your class workbooks children. Let us do the seventh problem. The ratio of the diameters of two circles is 3 is to 4. Find the ratio of, the, of their circumferences. This is the question given. So, ratio of diameters. Ratio of diameters is equal to 3 is to 4. So, you know that let the Diameter B, diameter B, D1 which is equal to 3x and D2, two diameters are there. So we are taking one as D1 and the other one as D2. D2 is equal to 4x. Let the diameters be D1 is equal to 3x and D2 is equal to 4x. Now let us find out the radius R1, R1. D is the diameter means 2 times of the radius. But now when we are finding out the radius, we have to divide by 2. So it is 3x by 2 and R2 radius. R2 is equal to 4x by 2. 4x by 2. Here 3 and 2 you cannot cancel. So we left it like that. But here you can cancel. So 2 ones are 2 twos are. So you got R2 is equal to 2x. R2 you got it as 2x. Now they asked you to find out the ratio of their circumferences. Ratio of their circumferences. Let's write this. Ratio of circumferences. What is the formula? Radius is given. So which formula? 2 pi r. But here R1 and R2 are there. So R1 divided by 2 pi R2. Okay. R2. Okay. R1 and R2 you have. Now you have to substitute the values. So this is equal to 2 into pi is 3x by 2. This whole divided by 2 pi into R2. R2 is nothing but 2x. R2 is nothing but 2x. Now you need to cancel. 2 twos are 4x. X and x gets cancelled. So this is nothing but 3 by 4. Which is nothing but 3 is to 4. Understood this? The ratio of circumferences you got it as 3 is to 4. Copy in your class workbooks children. Okay, let us do the 8th problem. A road roller makes 200 rotations in covering 2,200 meters. 
find the radius of the ruler this is a question given so first let us find out how much circumference is covered by one rotation and then we are going to find out the value of the radius in one rotation in one rotation it covers what is the formula 2 pi r okay now in 200 rotations 200 rotations they gave so it covers write the formula 200 into 2 pi r 200 into 2 pi r this is nothing but 400 pi r 400 pi r a road roller makes 200 rotations in covering 2200 2200 meters this is a question given so here 2200 is equal to 400 pi r according to the question you understood this so now we should see that only r is there to one side and the remaining terms should be shifted to the other side So here, let us take the pi value as twenty-two by seven. Twenty-two by seven. So here, two thousand two hundred is equal to four hundred into twenty-two by seven into r. Now we keep the r to one side. Two thousand two hundred into division becomes multiplication. Whole divided by. 400 into 22 so 22 ones are 22 100 times okay so 22 100 times is this one now ones are fours are now you are left with 7 by 4 so now cancel 4 ones are 4 subtraction is 3 If I keep a point, I can take a zero. So seven is twenty-eight. Four seven is twenty-eight. Subtraction is zero. Two is the remainder. Because already point is there, I can take here a zero. To take and four five is twenty. So the remainder is zero. You got the answer as one point seven five meters. Radius is equal to one point seven five. meters understood this copy in your class workbooks children homework first problem first bit second problem third bit third problem b bit three bits i gave it as homework complete that see you in the next class children complete the work